The Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program, which is implemented by UNDP, is supporting St. Lucia's efforts to integrate research and innovation into the apiculture industry. Jesse Leos reports. Since 2012, Jeff SGP UNDP St. Lucia has funded 13 apiculture projects totaling EC $1.6 million. Already successes have been achieved in producing byproducts such as soap, shampoo, lotions, candles, muscle pain relief creams, granola and mead, which is a delicious wine. This investment has already contributed to a 15% increase in honey production, trained over 200 beekeepers and increased their income by 40 to 60%. Recent testing of St. Lucia's honey by a laboratory in France has confirmed its suitability for exporting to the European Union. Driven by a vision which focuses on research and innovation, Jeff SGP UNDP, the Government of St. Lucia, the Ionola Apiculture Collective and other NGOs will establish the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute, ARLI, as a center of excellence for research, innovation and learning in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. What is the mission of Ali? To contribute to a sustainable climate smart environment for pollinators. So we are going beyond bees to look at all the pollinators in the environment in St. Lucia through a program that is science driven, important to us, develops and nurtures strategic partnerships, mutually beneficial partnerships, builds capacity and generates benefits for communities. We believe apiculture has those attributes to uplift our rural societies and to contribute significantly to our economy. According to the Law of Diffusion of Innovation, approximately 2.5% of any population are the real innovators. These, when behind with the early adopters representing 13.5% of any population, will provide the impetus for sustainable development. Jeff SGP UNDP has targeted such pioneers to begin to push us beyond the frontier of science, agro-processing, agriculture and biodiversity in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. The Ionola Apiculture Collective fits within this pioneering category and has been breaking new ground in this area and will lead us with local and international partners to where we have not been before. We are a collection of young and old beekeepers together. Uh, working to try to elevate the industry um, and embrace not just the craft of beekeeping but also embrace the science of beekeeping. Um, the science is the most critical important thing that we have left behind and what we've focused on in our organization is to focus on the science to try to understand what's happening with our bees, uh, where they are failing and where they are not failing and how we can improve the ecosystem around and the analysis of the diseases possibly that the bees are carrying. During a recent site visit to the IAC Apiculture Training Center in Castries, a delegation from the Embassy of Taiwan, led by Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chen, was introduced to the vision and mission of the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute, toured the apiary at Viji, and participated in an interactive session of candle making using beeswax. Taiwan uh, provides a broad spectrum of assistance to St. Lucia, including agriculture, education, technology, business, uh, health, etc. And uh, we, we committed to work with St. Lucia government uh, to achieve uh, UN Sustainable Development Goals and also uh, enhance resilience to climate change. And we look forward to working with all stakeholders and partners uh, to uh, benefit all solutions in the region. Uh, so uh, I truly believe uh, when we work together, we will share a better future. In the long run, the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute is expected to serve as a multi-purpose field research center that will focus on growth and optimization of the apiculture industry, mangrove, avifauna and coral species restoration, and the establishment of a vibrant, diverse and authentic apitourism experience in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. To achieve these objectives, Arli will create strong, mutually beneficial and enduring partnerships with St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Samoa, as well as with local, regional, and international universities and research centers. For the Government Information Service, I am Jessie Leons reporting.